Hi friends, it's me Mary and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy that you came back to my channel to see me. Um, today I have a collective haul for you. It has um, estate sale haul, Timu haul, and just little odds and ends that I picked up here and there maybe from Dollar Tree or um, eBay. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, I'll show you my Timu stuff. Um, I got these little green limes. A lot of people have been getting um, fruit things for summer and I thought that it was so cute so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon. So I got these and then I got some oranges and lemons as well. They came a little bit bigger though. Um, I wish that they were all the same size but I do like the bigger ones. I think that they're really cute but as you can see they're you know the, the limes are much smaller than the other two. Then I got this little pack. It has a bunch of different ones in it. I really liked the grapefruit. These ones right here. I thought those were so cute. Let's see if I, I don't know if I can open it. There we go. So just so you can see the brighter colors. Isn't that pretty? So you got those. I'm not sure what the blue ones are. <laughs> um, gosh, these are hard to open. For me, anyway. <laughs> um, but I thought that they were cute nonetheless. So there's those. I also picked up these little jam jars. I like to make strawberry jam in the summertime when I go to pick the strawberries from the um, orchard. So look at how cute these are. And I could like hang these off the jam jars, which would be so cute. I also picked up these strawberries. They're like half slices of strawberries. And I thought those were pretty realistic looking. And then I can't remember who picked these up, but I saw them on a Timu haul on YouTube somewhere. But they're these little surfboards, maybe Liana from It's a Deal. Aren't they so cute? They say best feeling ever. I love those. And then I got these little hair dryers, which you've probably seen before, but I just haven't found them until now. So you get them in black, white, mint, and pink. And they're just, I don't know, they're really cute and girly. So maybe for like an 80s dangle or a girly dangle. Then I got these ghosties and they're silicone. But I really liked the colors they came in. Great for like, uh, see they're like little beads. Great for like Halloween, of course. And then last but not least from Timu, I picked up some of this gold vellum. I liked the size of it because I'm planning on using it behind pictures or behind photos in my scrapbooks. But isn't that pretty? It's really nice. So I was happy with it. I'm not sure how many sheets you get. 30 sheets. So I thought that was a good deal. So we'll move this stuff aside. Um, at a garage sale, I did pick up these Yahtzee scorecards, and they were really old. Um, I can't remember the date that was on them. It was like 1965 or something. Um, not really old, but, <laughs> you know, vintage. Um, but they're, like, really nicely aged. Isn't that pretty? I guess they can't be that old, right? Because I was born in 1980, so they're only, you know, 15 years older than me. <laughs> I don't think of myself as old yet. <laughs> um, and then at the estate sale, let me show you the things I got there. I got some aprons, and they're so pretty. This one has a little tulip on it. It's like a little kid's apron. Isn't that so cute? love it. Then I got this blue one. 
sort of hard to show, but I wanted to show you some of them. And it has, this is like the half of it here. It's got this really pretty like satin maybe print. And then this sheer fabric. Isn't that cute? It's a half apron. I think they all are, except for the children's one. Then you've got this one, the green gingham. So pretty. And then this is one of my favorites, this bright yellow one. Look at that with the eyelet. I love it. And these were, um, <clears throat> excuse me, $2 a piece at the estate sale. And then this one with the polka dot print. I think she made all of these. These look handmade. Um, she had a lot of craft stuff there. And then also there I got this, which was by the apron. So maybe she was planning on using it on a Christmas apron, this ribbon. It's flocked. Music notes. Then I got this beautiful lace. Oh my gosh. I just, ooh, this was like the first thing I threw in my bag. <laughs> I love it so much. Isn't that gorgeous? So like wide and that's so pretty. So yeah, love that piece. Then I got some cuffs and a collar. So here's the collar. Isn't that pretty? She had some really pretty stuff at her estate sale. I think she went into a um, nursing home, they said. And you know it's hard because you can't bring all your goodies with you there. But they will definitely be loved here. Then I got some hankies. So I got this pretty rose. And then this, I think it's Lily of the Valley. Isn't that pretty? Then this Michigan one. I love this. And then this one is like an all year long one. It's from 1963. But isn't that, oh, 1953. But look at it, it's got like the ice skater, Valentine's, tax day. <laughs> That's really cute. Um, but I just, I think this is so pretty. So I love that one. Then it's got one of the presidents and I thought that was different. And then this birdie one, I think might be my favorite one. Some more roses and then some flowers. I liked the edge on this one. So I got that. And then also from the estate sale, I got these binoculars. I'm always looking for these types of things at estate sales. This lens is like damaged. I don't know how it got like that, but <laughs> What it looks like but I love the birds on here and I just love the vintage look of it so so cute I also picked up this harmonica because I loved the box but look it's like brand new in there it's so cool Then I thought this was cute to put on my shelf, this little tin toy of a frog. It didn't come with the key, which was a bummer, but I still thought it was really cute for display. Then I got a pack of these, which are, well, I got these little um, latch hooks. Um, I don't think they're called latch hooks. I can't remember what they're called, but anyway. Um, I got this wool, mending wool. And I love this like font. I love the whole like, I don't know, I love the green on this one too. So, and it's so soft and pretty. So I got a bunch of different colors. It's pretty red, maroon, blue. This one's a little tore up. 
Here's a different one. Some more Chadwicks. Dawn. That royal blue is pretty. Republic. This is Busia. And then Chadwick's again. This is a pretty pink. Just a little bit of the blue left on there. But I got all of these. I think that they were a dollar. So that was a great price. So pretty. Um, and I think that, that was all that I got from the estate sale other than the books I showed you the other day. So um, Meg on Chasing Retro had a video showing all the books that she recommended. And one of them was this, The Color Collector's Handbook. And I just fell in love with it. I found it on eBay for a great price, so I bought it. It is a book with a bunch of colors in it like this. And you basically find it in nature somewhere and then you can name the color and then you say where you found the color and then where you found it again and the dates and stuff. So I just thought that this was so cool. It's got all these different colors in it. I'm actually gonna use it for its intended purpose because I think it's such a cool book. But a lot of people would use it for junk journaling. So isn't that great? Love that. And then lastly, um, from Dollar Tree, I did finally find one of these little suitcases. And I think that it's really cute. Um, though it was $1.25, and I have to say, there are cuter ones on Timu for cheaper. So um, the wheels don't move, and the ones on Timu do, and the handle only moves a little bit. So, but I still think it's cute, still a good buy. And then um, lastly, I got these wax seals. I'd never seen them at Dollar Tree before. I was by my mom's house and her Dollar Tree is awesome. So they had them there. <laughs> I love going there. But anyway, that's my haul for today, friends. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'm so glad that you could stop by. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a great day. Love ya. Bye-bye.